Here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. We'll get a detailed look at Florence in just a second. In the meantime, feeling more like summer today, a lot warmer and more humid. It topped out at the 82 degrees. We've settled back now into the upper 70s, but still 81 in Taunton. New Bedford coming in at 79. A, a Downpour in Providence right now, very, very small one, and uh, temperature at 77. We'll stay humid all night long. And well, there you go, it's gone, but came through about 10 minutes ago. So it's really random. In fact, most locations are actually dry. You see some partial sunshine down in Narragansett Town Beach. The surf is somewhat rough, a high surf advisory till 7 o'clock. But this will be more than likely to be reissued over the next several days as Florence gets closer to the East Coast. Locally, our waves start to increase as well as the rip current risk. But that's the only impact we get from. Florence is not uh, headed our way. We're not getting rain and wind from it. So uh, the good news for us, and we'll look at Florence in just a second. But there's that little downpour that came through Providence a little while ago. It is now pushing off to the east in between roughly Attleboro and Rehoboth in the next uh, 10 to 15 minutes. Another small shower just outside of Providence will be coming through as well. But notice most areas are dry, so the chance of an isolated shower or thunderstorm this evening is just that small and isolated, but the chance is there for this evening. Some coastal fog later on. The humidity is is high temperatures this evening will be in the 70s both tomorrow morning and tomorrow afternoon and the day as a whole is not a washout we're not dealing with hour after hour of rain and thunder but both morning and afternoon have the chance of either an isolated shower or heavy thunderstorm i think the better chance would come during the afternoon temperatures mid and upper 70s and still on the humid side here is southern new england the carolinas three storms florence uh, isaac and helene now helene will stay out at sea isaac is just a tropical storm not a hurricane it will be passing into the Caribbean, but of course, all eyes on Florence as it makes its closest approach to the United States come Thursday, late Thursday into Friday across the Carolinas as a major hurricane. Uh, very impressive on the satellite, infrared satellite photo. You can see the eye of the storm now moving west, uh, northwest at about 17 miles per hour. The latest data from the National Hurricane Center winds of 140, gusts to 165. And the thinking really hasn't changed that much in that the storm makes its approach uh, later Thursday. Into to Friday as a major hurricane on the Carolina North uh South Carolina, North Carolina border, and then unfortunately slowing down, and this makes it a huge rainmaker. You can see how the storm, its forward speed starts to slow down and weaken, but copious amounts of rain as it kind of traverses over the same area for a couple of days once it makes landfall. So it's not out of the question for the rainfall to be measured, much like what we had with Harvey last year uh, down in Texas uh, in feet, anywhere from perhaps 12 to 24 inches of rain. The purple represents the hurricane force winds. These are onshore winds. These are offshore winds. So where the eye makes landfall will dictate what we call the storm surge. Quite simply, it's that when that wind is pushing onshore and pushing the water towards the coastline, storm surge warnings have been posted of both South and North Carolina. The surge could be as high as 12 to 15 feet. So it's the surge, the rain, and the wind. Seven-day forecast. Again, keep an eye to the sky for that scattered shower or thunderstorm for tomorrow. Not the entire day. Thursday is somewhat unsettled. Small chance of a shower, but over Overall, not too bad at 75. Nice stretch, though. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, partly sunny, seasonally warm, with temperatures in the uh, lower 80s. So the concern for us is on the water and offshore, the swells and the surf over the next several days. Which is important to note because with these high temperatures, people might be heading back to the beach. And the lifeguards so. are not on duty. Right. Yeah. All right, Tony, thanks. And